Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is about all this lovely, lovely items from Juicy. Those packagings are their new collection called Spring Crush. I used a few times, I have my thoughts. That's a star from the Cushion Foundation. The Cushion Foundation is fairly new. It's been out for a while now. Look at the surface. It's like a semi-mirror surface and have like more like a crushed candy wrapping paper, that type of design. The design I really like. Open is fairly standard, having a puff. And when you open the inside, the cushion foundation look like this. What I really like about is actually the filter. So when you dip your puff in, you press and they give you a very even product spreading on the puff already. This cushion foundation for me is very average. The coverage is about low to medium. When you apply a first layer, it only gives you about 30 to 40%. You can build up to maximum, at least on my skin, 50%. In terms of minimizing the pores, again, it's so-so. It's not making them visible, but doesn't really filter it through completely comparing with some other cushion foundations. And what I find with this foundation is very skin condition depending and the face product that you use depending. It's not self-depending, let's put it that way. Today you can tell on the side that I already have a fairly smooth skin condition itself. It looks very nice. It's give the best outcome of the cushion foundation itself. It looks semi-matte like your skin finish. But when you look at the areas that I still have a little bit of acne or sport marks or unstable skin conditions, it just has like a minimum flakes and the patches is just doesn't look as even as the other side and i use this with different skincare products as well again it's kind of like touch and go depends what you use underneath it kind of perform differently so i'm not saying it's a bad product if you have a good condition of all fairly stable condition yourself i think this is a good cushion foundation to use it lasts fairly long for my combined oily skin it can go up to like four or five hours with only minimal t-zone oils and another thing i like it is once it's sealed when you touch without even setting it there yeah, you touch on your surface there is no fingerprints left so if you are dry skin you're still okay to use this cushion foundation you just need to hydrate your skin well so this foundation you can have it and you can also live without Come to the eyeshadow palettes. This time the shape itself is designed exactly the same as their nude collection. This is just in the very spring, um, lovely spring, mild green base color. It's so nice. The, the packaging is so cute. And my color is F18. Have a look, the color combination. It just says spring on there. In terms of the powder quality, the color saturation and also the uh, blendability is very good. It's the same as their nude collections, which is in one of my favorite, favorite eyeshadows. The powder quality itself is really good. It's lower saturation, but for this color combination, this one in particular, I have a little bit challenging with this white color. It's a little bit too bright. It's not like a highlighter, but when you really look at it, it's like a subtle sheen reflection. It's not fully matte. And this white is a little bit overpowering the main color supposed to be, this lavender purple color. It's a little bit overpowering this one. And because this one is even lower color saturation or coverage or pigment, you can tell. If you use this as a base then put on top of this one the the, 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 the lavenderness and purpleness just not totally shown so it's supposed to be the concept of what i think is when you use more white base the lighter color would actually show better it didn't deliver its function i suppose and this one you can almost use you know for highlighting purpose 
but I wouldn't use for on the eyes, which I tried before. It looked like a disaster, absolutely disaster. It just looked like white patches here, and it's shown horribly on the photo, by the way. So don't use for highlighting the under eye area. A little bit, you know, over your nose bridge, a little bit on the cheek, tiny little bit, but just using for, you know, like inter corners is fine. What I like the most is the shimmer color. It's very attention to details. It has the same lavender base, but has a beautiful golden flakes. Very beautiful golden dust on top of it. It actually emphasized the eye look so well. Today, I just did a very simple eye look. And you can see the whole performance that is a little bit pity. The main color, supposedly, uh, I would appreciate that if it has a little bit higher color presentation or pigment on the eyelid, I think would actually enhance the palette even better. Uh, but at the same time, I think I do understand why it's slightly lower saturation. If this color didn't design well, it will make your eyes very, very puffy. So always, you know, contour your eyes regardless. They made it lower saturation, therefore still give you the hint of the color, but doesn't really emphasize the puffiness on your eyelid. I get that, but just, you know, add a little bit more pigment would be great. Then come to this lovely full lip product. Let me talk about this too first, which is from the uh, Spring Crush collection. Oh, this time the packaging, the color combination, it's just so fruity and so, not fruity, so, so like candy per se. Very springo candy. Very, very cute. And the first one is the Lip Mutt uh, 917M. This one you can tell is my cup of tea. It's a nude base, but more coral orange finished color. This Lip Mutt is very nice in terms of the formulation. Very lightweight when you spread out on the lip. It's very, very comfortable to wear. It doesn't sink into the lines, but the person feel it doesn't really smoothen out the lines either. So just bear that in mind. The color, the presentation is showing very, very nice on your lip. I personally would say it's a very much four season, no brainer, go to type of lip colors. And this one is a very, very interesting lip gloss. And it has lovely glitters in there. It's a see-through base, but with more like plum purple, a little bit of green goldy shimmers in there. It's so pretty. This one goes on any type of matte lipstick. It transfer and brighten the color so well. I just applied this on top of the lip mud. It transfer the personality of your lip style. It made it very juicy, very kissable, and very summery as well. Next one is in this black cover. This is the new formulation, which gives you a beautiful lip glass finish, but the last really, really long. Does not transfer. However, that's a star from the packaging. The packaging is very cute, sleek, and then you have a golden cap. To be honest, with the price of it, this design really made juicy, you know, into a high-end or even luxury packaging design itself. It's only a shame that my one, I have to say my one, the applicator is a faulty one. Look. Look at this. I have no idea when I bought it, when I open it, and then it's like this. I can't be bothered to, to, to change it to another one, by the way. And I was too busy these few days, <laughs> too busy. Okay, by the way, the color itself is very, very powerful. Very, very beautiful. It's like, um, it is like a tomato blood red. It gives you the power of carry your personality inside out. Especially if you go for special events, this is the color you must have. Especially if you like lip gloss or lip glass finish and you want the long lasting, this collection, you have to, you have to check it out. Let me quickly zoom you in. You see this beautiful, beautiful reflection. It's very comfortable to wear. However, it's a little bit tiny, a little bit sticky just on the edges. It's not the entire lip, you see. 
you just inside on the edges is tiny, slightly sticky, but totally bearable. But look at this. Here's the clear, clear mirror. You guys see my camera. Can you see any color coming off? No. Anything impact on the lab? No. <laughs> this is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Maintain this juicy lip gloss finish, but does not transfer at all. At all. And it's settled fairly quick. You know, some of this type of product, like Giorgio Armani one, for example, you have to wait and wait and wait until next year, probably. This one, about a couple of minutes, is pretty much fully settled. Then you feel free to drink, to talk, to eat different snacks. One thing I need to mention that when you want to remove it, it's a little bit gripping as it's... Oh, God, let me show this way. When you wipe this off, you see, it's fairly easy. But when you, when you wipe the moment, you will feel a little bit sticky on your lips. So you just need to wipe a couple of times, then it's all come off. The last one, this one more like a lip mousse, is much more silky and smoother, even lightweight than the lip mud. And the color I've got this time is uh, it's a special one. I purposely chose it, but it's not, it, it doesn't suit me. It will go very nicely on some of you and I can even picture it. That's why I bought it, but this one just does not suit me. It's actually a beautiful smoky color. It's a, how to say, it's, it's like, a, it is a nude base, but it has very strong personality in there. It's a, it's a very, very cool muddy color. The formulation is so nice. It's just the color itself. It make me look like I ate something that I shouldn't and like I got sick. Yeah, it's like I, I should go to hospital. That's the only shame. Not shame. It's a shame for me, but not shame for a lot of you out there. This color will go so nicely on a lot of different looks. I think next time I may try a slightly cooler look and I will use this one. Quickly summarize everything. The cushion foundation and the eyeshadow palettes, unless you really like the packaging, uh, especially the cushion foundation is very, very so so. All the performers are very much average and it's not self depending. Will depends on the face product you used and also your current skin condition. The eyeshadow palette is just this one in particular, F18. The only shame personally feel is the main color, which is this lavender purple color, should give a little bit stronger kick, would be a great one. For lip product, the black collection one, lip glass, I recommend the most. It does not transfer, last really long and easy to be removed. The formulation is very, very lightweight. It's very, very, very comfortable to wear with the whole day. Powerful color. Oh, by the way, my color is uh, 752V. I will have all the product and my numbers in my description box. So you can go there, always check it out. The other one is the Lip Mousse. I would describe it with the same cap as the black one. You see, they all have the golden cap. This one, formulation, lasting, performance, overall experience of using it is really nice. You just need to choose the color. Yeah, carefully. <laughs> The other two, one is Lip Mud. I really love it. Formulation-wise, it's slightly drier, it's slightly muddier compared to the Lip Mousse, but it's very, very comfortable to wear with the whole day as well. If you suffer from lip lines, those type of formulation, just bear that in mind, that it, it may emphasize it, but this one does not emphasize my, neither minimize it. The see-through lip gloss with Beautiful flakes in there. Highly, highly recommend. Highly, highly recommend. It can really make your sun matte lipsticks become more active, more summery. Okay, hope you like today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down here. I will see you on my next one.